Nice shorts. Let's look at some grades of coal. We can start with peat. It can be considered a precursor to coal. It's mostly just unaltered plant material. This can convert into lignite, the lowest grade of coal, and then bituminous, and there's also sub-bituminous between these two, but I don't have a sample of that, and I guess geologists just weren't feeling creative enough to give it a different name. Above that is anthracite, the highest grade. It has this great sheen to it. I have this big chunk as well, which will get used later in the episode. Globally, these types of coal have different abundances, with both types of bituminous coal comprising the majority of what we mine. For the Brits, I'm talking about bituminous coal. Last year, we excavated more coal than ever in history. Nearly 8.7 billion metric tons. If we use the coal abundances, we can calculate the average density and then calculate a total volume, which is about 6.5 billion cubic meters, or a cube that is about 1,873 meters on a side, just from last year. Here they are at 1 to 2,048 scale. We are here and here. Here's also the iron cube from last episode. And I was curious how much total coal ever was formed on Earth. I found values for total energy produced from coal since 1900, and we know how much energy comes from coal so we can back calculate a decent estimate of total volume. We have estimates for total remaining coal reserves, and if we sum up what's left with what we've used, we get a little over 1 trillion cubic meters, or about 10,000 blocks on a side. This is what that would look like at the same reduced scale as our map versions here. Coal is not a mineral like many other Minecraft ores. In real life, it's considered a sedimentary rock, meaning that it's made up of particles of sediment. Most sedimentary rocks are composed of minerals or small rocks, but coal has a large amount of organic material, greater than 50% by definition. If it's less than 50%, then it might be considered something like a carbonaceous shale or mudstone. 